FP1 ODE, an interface for synthesis and sound processing with ordinary differential equations in SuperCollider. What is FP1 ODE? It's a unit generator class contained in the miscellaneous lib extension of SuperCollider. It enables the numerical integration of ODEs with initial values in real time. FP1 ODE is for use inside a SynthDev. Its inputs and outputs can be subject to modulation like those of other unit generators. The prefix FP1 refers to the class FP1 for single sample feedback and feedforward, on which it depends. Hence, the integration is applied per sample, independent of the current block size of the SuperCollider audio engine. Wrappers for some well-known systems like Thunderbolt, Duffing, Hopf, MassSpring Damper, Lorenz and others are included. Arbitrary ODEs can be defined with the class FP1 ODE dev and immediately be used in synth devs. Possible applications FP1 ODE is a general purpose ODE modification tool for quick feedback in SuperCollider and easy connection with other SuperCollider possibilities. Regarding ODEs as a generic description system for waveforms was one of the main motivations for its development. E.g. concerning the harmonic oscillator. Its second order differential equation is a much tighter description than the Taylor series expansion of sine and cosine. Moreover, many ODE solutions do not exist in an explicit analytical form. That makes it reasonable to expect a wide field of synthesis options with uncharted ODEs. More connected to existing research, FP1 ODE can also serve for physical and acoustic models. Models stemming from analog circuits are forming another class. Many researchers have suggested them as synthesis engines on their own, e.g. Duffing, Chua, Van der Boer, or in the context of virtual analog simulation via state space models. Finally, models from other fields like mechanics, astronomy, chemistry, and even population dynamics can be interesting for sound production. E.g., their behavior might change between chaotic and oscillatory states, like the driven pendulum. FP1 ODE's help file contains this and other examples like the reduced two-body problem from mechanics and the Lotka, Volterra and Hastings Bauern models from population dynamics. Numerical aspects are crucial in ODE modifications, as oscillations must be kept stable over a relatively long period. In this regard, arbitrary integration procedures, which might work fine outside the area of digital audio, can fail quickly already with simple systems like the harmonic oscillator. As a default, FP1 ODE uses a symmetric symplectic integration scheme, which has proven to be reliable in many use cases. It allows for decreasing the step size as an option to achieve higher accuracy. Several families of alternative explicit integration schemes are available for comparison. The user can blur the integration process in several ways to explore its sound potential. That extends the paradigm of modeling. The model is only the base for an abstract algorithmic procedure. First, modulation can apply to the parameters of the ODE system. That is the mildest form of blurring, as it still might have a physical possibility, e.g. the mass of a mass spring damper model can oscillate. Secondly, the time scaling can be modulated as well, including the usage of negative times. But also, the integration procedure itself can be distorted by modulating its intermediate results at audio rate. This option is the crudest form of blurring. Ironically, it can contain otherwise unstable systems by limiting operations. Thanks to David Pirot for his advice on exploring ODEs and symplectic integration. Thanks to Nathaniel Virgo for his idea of implementing single sample feedback in SuperCollider with block sizes greater than 1. As a proof of concept, the harmonic oscillator is defined by this second order differential equation. With a standard substitution, it can be written as a system of two equations. In the general form, we are seeking the function y as a vector valued function, and we have to define the function f. In the supercollider function, we need the argument time and y, and this function has to return an array. In addition, we need initial values t0 and y0. After evaluation, this ODE is ready to be used in FP1 ODE. 
we have to pass the symbol and we have to define time scaling to get an audible frequency. Alternatively, the frequency can be defined as an argument. Then we can just pass the frequency to the FB1 ODE. These examples are extending the exponential decay. We can get an oscillating decay by multiplying with a sine, and the analytic solution takes the exponent so we get more partials. The ODE can also get a dampen factor, and to use it in a synth step, we have to do time scaling for an audible result. To get a decorrelated stereo version, we can expand to two independent ODEs. And here we have multiplication with another sign, which also gets a modulation argument. This system can be written in a shorter form because it can pass an initial array. To get an enriched decay, we can pass a stereo modulation and a dampen factor.